Welcome to the Call Like I Don't See a Podcast, where we talk about movies, comics, games, sports, and origins of evildoers. I am GP. What up, what up, what up? What, what up, people? What's really good? <laughs> What's really good with you? What's really good <laughs> with you? Beach, uh, Ooh, oh, that over there. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, oh, man? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you all into it. Oh, you, you oh. brought out the soul. I didn't expect you to go there. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? How you doing? Uh, chilling, man. Chilling, bro. You know, life back here again. Episode 55, folks. 55, people. 50, 55. Glad for uh, everybody to be back listening again, man. This is great. Oh, yeah. This, Keeping this, it going. The dopest podcast in the galaxy, right? Here. It has to be. It has to be. Aliens listen to us, so we are dope. Oh, yeah. It's the aliens. It's the aliens from Mars Attacks. <laughs> and translation, I can't, I, I can't get enough. I'm calling like I don't see it. <laughs> what's, that, what's that song that, that explodes their head? I'll see you. <laughs> Call it! I love call it! I love call it! I don't see it! <laughs> oh wow. my god! But yeah, man. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm doing good, dude. Like, uh, I was having a good week up until like Thursday, Friday, right? Yeah. Folks, if you don't know, like sometimes, I mean, not sometimes, every week we, we kind of like do a vid conference and try to figure out, you know, what we actually could be talking about before we put out a promo. Right, and right. in the middle of our video conference, I get hit with the two most distinctive gray hairs on my Ooh. goatee out of nowhere. <laughs> and it just threw my whole flow off for the prize. So if this episode is off, it's because of the two gray hairs that came up on my goatee. Like, like these, these gray hairs was like... Don't I, say it! <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't say it. I don't know. Go ahead. Well, well, I, I spotted those bad boys right Jeez. when you popped up, and I don't know how, how did... you didn't spot these bad boys. Look, bro. Like I was, I, I brushed my goatee every day before going to work. I can uh-huh. guarantee you, folks out there, that it was no grays on my chin. Right. At like eight, at like five a.m. on uh, on Thursday, dude. I don't uh-huh. know how I sprouted two. It was two big ass grays. I think I think you was going about your day without like noticing it. I think you was just so busy with school. Well, yeah, and but like we have the know. mask on, you know, to cover our faces, so, so I don't know right. if it's like there you go. See, yeah. Maybe it's the lack of sun, uh, you know, school light, like the light from the the the, 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 <laughs> oh, the bulbs, ref- right? Oh, reflects everything in me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So th- maybe the mask, right? Because I have a black mask, so maybe that's what's taking away. It's sucking the sunlight out, the the melatonin out of my my gray hair, my my beard, uh-huh. my goatee. Right. Crap! Side effects of beard uh, mask wearing. What the hell? Yeah. But anyway, I mean, I don't know how to feel about. It. I tried to cut them off this morning, but they're deep, man. They kind of like they took some other uh, black parts of my goatee for for hostage. So if I cut the gray, I'm cutting some of my black. So, <laughs> so I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna shave these back. I'm gonna shave them down, though. I might have a so, clean. So they're still there. They're still here, man. Unless I, as I'm saying. <laughs> I might have to just go like baby smooth skin chin and and try to combat it that way. Yeah, I'll post a picture. <laughs> I'll post a picture. Wait, 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 wait. So, so all be, all because of two hairs. Yo, it's too thick. You saw how thick those things were, bro. I'm sorry. I'm not ready for that right now in my life. That's why my head. I'm glad my head is shaving. Oh, so I can't tell if any grays are popping up. Why you just don't cut those two? Just cut them. I just told you it's they got some other blacks intertwined into the into the gray. So that so would it's like so that would it's be wrapped like, around. So it'll be a patch missing if you do that. Yeah, if I do oh, okay. it'll be a patch missing. So it's like uh. it's it's either you cut us and, and and look like a doofus or you shave your your chin and look like a baby. <laughs> I'm going with option B. <laughs> I'm gonna come on next oh, week's episode. Get some mascara. Well, welcome to the car like that's the fire. <laughs> Gaga, goo goo, oh, oh, <laughs> <mama. laughs> <laughs> stupid. <laughs> like Gaga and goo goo. Dude, why you just don't? Why you just don't like get some like some? I don't know some 
Gray for men. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Darken that bad boy. A up. black color pencil. I'm going to borrow my wife's eyeliner. I'm just like, can I borrow that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to just color, color this thing in. Like a violin. Don't judge me. <laughs> uh, but other than that, man, I'm glad to be back here and still, you know. That's good. That's thing, good, man. So. How was your week, though? Oh, Nothing man. Bad. My week's man, been, just been busy with work, man. Hey, um, you always busy with work. Always hey. busy with work, man. Um, I got into, you know, last week I said I was going to get a bio mutant. Uh huh. Oh, changed my mind, and I bought uh, No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. Yes. Okay. Wasn't that the game that like had like a bad launch and everybody was pissed because it wasn't marketed properly? Yeah, or something it had like a that? bad launch. You couldn't do this. Uh-huh. And you couldn't do that. And but this, it was just too big to be. Uh-huh. Basically, you had to you know wait till it you know um, fix all these problems. There's a lot of updating to do because this. So you this got game the game for huge. like what ten dollars? <laughs> um. I think I bought thirty dollars for. No oh, Sky. Uh, not bad. Still yeah. good. Yeah. How's it going, though? Man, it's, it's a good, good game, man. Man, it's yeah. Like you exploring through space, mm-hmm. whole ton of galaxies. Um, you mining oh, stuff. You. They got multiplayer. They got. Oh, they do. What's the yeah. goal of the game? Go. It's like you basically exploring planets. Okay. Like I just li- like you actually going into. Earth atmosphere, I mean, whatever planet atmosphere you landing into that mm-hmm. area and you're scanning animals, creatures. So, you, plants, are you just doing it just minerals. to report? Is your goal just to report on what's going on in these planets? That's pretty much it. Not actually, it's not like actually a goal, it's like more like there's a little story behind it where you like, uh, what's it called? You got am- amnesia, amnesia, okay, yeah, and you're trying to figure out who you are, but also how did you get on this isolated planet. Okay. So when it first start off, you trying to get off that planet by creating this this crash ship. You gotta fix the ship. You gotta mm-hmm. uh, create a base. You gotta Ooh. get minerals and scan Ooh. stuff. And, yeah. I'm all about that creating base life. I love right. things like that. <laughs> yeah. So it's like that. But then after that, you in the galaxy. After that, so you okay going to a whole bunch of planets, warp speed, everything. Wow. So you're in a little galactic adventure over there mm-hmm. sweet i saw you streaming the other day but i was like because i knew they had a little issues there in launch I was like, do i really want to watch this stream man watch it just... man I, if right, you cool. i say that's not like man. a threat the way you said it bro back up <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey watch it hey, man. watch it man <laughs> watch it man hey man you better watch it watch me go in space <laughs> uh, all right I'll but uh now nah, i say if you like if if you gamers out there like exploring right mm-hmm. if you like if you love exploring if you love adventure this is the game for you. All right, sweet. Yeah. yeah, space. Would you? What would you? What would you give it out of? Uh, let's say out of five right now, since you're not like I'm giving completely it a, done. Right now, I'm giving it a nine because I'm not done. Nine out of five. I said out of five. Bro. Oh, out of five. <laughs> oh, uh, I give it a five. Okay, damn, yeah. solid five. All right, solid, solid five, five and a solid nine. All right, yeah. sweet. Sounds good. Well, we uh we got some stuff here. We have to get jump into. Oh yeah, right? we got some stuff to talk about, man. We got some stuff oh, to talk boy. about. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. So nice. <laughs> I would like to reach out my hand and I'm gonna tell you why. So anyway, so anyway, I'm gonna say about it. I'm gonna say about it. Oh my God! How does that song go? So the other way. So the other way. So the other way. So the case of the way. So the way. So the other way. So the way. So the other 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 way. So the 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 Slow down, now. slow down, <laughs> slow down, <laughs> bro. And, let me tell you. And they hit us with some new stuff. Ooh, yes, they did, dude. I raced home so fast to ten because I didn't catch it when it when it premiered when they showed it live. Right. So I, I raced home and I was like, you know, I, you know, had had my time with my son, had my time with my wife, and then I was like, all right, I'm in this for the hour that I need to watch this video. Right. Oh my god, it was so glorious, man. The showcases, before we get into the games, the showcase itself was just how they presented it and the flow and the artistry and the music. Everything was just glorious. It's it was, like, was kind of like they was doing like a, a, a broadcast on a show. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely felt like that. Because it started off like it was a commercial. I was like, is this an ad? Yeah, but tell me that wasn't the dopest it was, ad you've ever seen. It was seen, a dope though, ad. It was and dope it, the ad. message behind it was so cool, too. Like, the different styles of play and all of right, that. Right, and then, right. like, he's playing the girl as a pawn. They were playing chess, but it was, like, yeah. real people. I was like, yo, yeah. this is why we game, boy. Yeah, that's how it's going to be in the future, though, yeah. yeah. Oh, that'll be crazy, dude. Yeah, yeah, don't kill me. Please people. don't get me killed in my yeah. game. I swear to God. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... I don't even know where to start, bro. Like that yeah. first, what, uh, what first game po- like caught your attention? Before we get to the main heavy hitters that I know oh, you want to talk God. about. Oh, okay. What was the first one that like took your attention away? First game that like really took my attention was that uh, that Ghost Tokyo game. Ooh, Ghost Tokyo. Yeah, that yeah, one. Looked it looked like that one looked dope. I was trying to figure out what is going on mm. <laughs> in this game. Is it like? I hope it's not just for. PlayStation VR because it look, looks more like a VR game. Yeah, it did look like a little VR thing. That's yeah. what I was just like. But it looks ah. cool though. The graphics are it. It definitely does. But hopefully, like maybe VR becomes more like you know sleek and accessible and like because I don't like that big big clunky thing on my head, dog. I want to yeah. see it. I don't think I like. I don't like something that close to my eyes like that, though. Like I, I right. get all dizzy and feel <laughs> nauseous. Start throwing up. Throwing yeah. up in the <laughs> VR. 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 Get, get this off. VR. <laughs> Yo, boy, you ain't supposed to be frothing at the mouth. <laughs> like a, like a, a character game. throwing up on Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so so that was it. To- Tokyo, you said what? what was to- it? Uh, like Tokyo. I always said Tokyo Ghoul. To- Tokyo <laughs> Ghost or something. Tokyo Ghost, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, the first one that popped out was, um, I think it was one of the first games that it showed. That Project Eve one with the, with the girl, right? Yeah. And she had like a sword or something, and she was fighting all these kind of like random de- uh, creatures. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, it was yeah. so action packed. I was like, "What is going on in here?" <laughs> and and also that one and that 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 one that they showed a while back, where she get you know, this chick gets uh, in this enchanted world. Was it? Well, you talking about Forsaken? Forsaken, yeah. Yeah, Forsaken, yeah, Forsaken was, hit yeah. hard on that. They gave one. us an actual <laughs> gameplay. Yeah, I got a, I got a little question about Forsaken though because what I saw in the previous gameplay, right? The graphics were like like super like high quality 4K, maybe even 8K, mm-hmm. right? Um, when they did the this reveal here, some of it looked a little choppy. I was like, is yeah, it? Is I it? I think it's probably um, the picture quality was was different. Was different? Okay, I hope they. Fi- I hope that's not for the... like you know like like for you know for people that don't have a 4K. Okay, so like just all it around, you know, yeah, for like mm-hmm. everybody just just to watch. I hope that's not the case, man. I hope it's like up to where that was on the first time that they showed it to us, because yeah. that shit was crazy. Unless that was a PS4 game, probably it could have been like they're showing it on PS4. I have yeah. to go back and rewatch where that film is from because yeah. I was just like, hey, 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 that's not what you showed us at the beginning. Bring it, it back. Bring I those think, back. I think it's her powers look makes it looks more sporadically as far as the, yeah. the graphics. So yeah, it's kind of chopped. Yeah. Chop chop. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But it might be on the it might be on the list, dude. It might be on the list. The next thing that might be on the list for me, dude, um, Gran Turismo Seven. Ooh. Right? I haven't played I realize I haven't played a racing game in like forever. I used to yeah. play a lot of Need for Speed back on like PS3, yeah. right? Um so when I saw Gran Turismo, I was like, mm, you know what? I might just have to get me a racing game, bro. Yeah. Like the graphics on that look sick. The amount and, and I think what their forecast uh their pro um forecasting is a lot of customization on your vehicle dude yeah like, it was a ton of customization. ton like like the, like, like the littlest of space in the yeah car the tiniest part to your engine you get you right. changing out like yeah. the tiniest part to your rim you could change out the tiniest part to your hood i was like god dang right. dude yeah. I have a very interesting style AD whip, whipping it up in Grand Turismo. Right. Call that shit Grand Erismo, uh, AD Mo, something. <laughs> That's my game. <laughs> to be back. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. All right, so let's squash uh, everything else because everything all else that freaking yeah, got blown go. out the water. Water. <laughs> Insomniac. <laughs> <laughs> Insomniac, you're making me an insomniac. <laughs> oh, do they? I, I don't think they sleep. Hence their name of the company. I exactly. don't think these people sleep. Yeah, that's a perfect name for that company. They don't sleep. How the hell? What the hell? And why the hell? <laughs> you go <laughs> drop a Wolverine, a Wolverine Wait, game. Wolverine. A P- oh. PS5. Marvel's Wolverine. Oh my so, god! So, so I have a whole bunch of questions with this. The way it come on, man. The the the, the music, the the, the you showing us the aftermath 
of a, of a, of a bar a fight. brutal beat down. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Probably a slaughter. Probably a slaughter. Yeah. Now, is this into the Marvel Spider Man universe? Ooh. That would be dope. Right. That would be dope. If he yeah. if he somehow linked, like, if I'm, this starts like a, a, a video game version of the MCU, yeah. right? He don't even <laughs> have to. He don't even have to mention like just just like mention like like uh, Peter Parker in a newspaper or whatever. Yeah, like something that. or Miles Morales on some kind of like side corner right, street. Right, or something right, right, like that. right. Like, hey, how you doing? But I hope I'm <laughs> hoping this game is like is like rated MA, bro. I want it to be like that Logan. See movie, now, dude. that's the problem with Asamiac because I don't really uh-huh. see Asamiac doing any gory that <sighs> type of games. But maybe that's if why this the exci- is if this if is this like is the, the exclusive one. that does it. Yeah. If this is the one that breaks that, I want it to be that way because I can't. Come on, dude. The way those claws came out on the table was yeah, like, man. It was, come that on, was, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. It's, it's you can't good. show you. Look, it's the PS5. The graphics are there for a reason. You can't show me clawing somebody and it's a clean blade coming out of that dude's chest. Out the hockey talk forearms he have on the, on the, bar, <laughs> on the, on the bar table. <laughs> I'm like, and, but they, but they showed, they did show. My hope was that it is might be bloody because they did show blood stains on his on his fist. You know it what has mean? to be, man. It has to be. They man. have it's to be Wolverine. some kind of like it's yeah. It, it has to be some hack inside. I wanted Logan quality. I want Logan quality brutality in right. the game. That's what yes. I want. Yeah, yeah, I want yeah, a yeah. hack a dude's arm off. It's hacked off. That's hacked it's there completely off. It's there. Damn it! I want Smith. that. Oh my god, bro! And no, th- th- I, I can't imagine the audience when the, all you saw was just the blaze come out, shrink, and then right. that was and it. to be announced. <laughs> when is this coming out? We don't even know, but oh. it's in good hands. That's the thing because it's with Insomniac. I mean, you like Insomniac has given us just the most beautiful set of games in recent years, and that's it's true. Just like, that's true. Man. They that's are true. gonna do it. You know, it's in good hands with for Wolverine with them, bro. Like they can't go wrong. They can't go wrong. Dude, let's 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 go to the. You go to the dude, next one. Yeah, I'll let you. Hey, I'll let you bring it. In. You go ahead. Like, well, first off, I, I mentioned this to AD before we even before the showcase even mm. started. I said mm. we need mm. Spider Man Two. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Hold <to> on. Be- <laughs> sorry, sorry. I just <laughs> I'm messing myself. Jizz right and my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I say we need. Spider Man Two mm. to be in this showcase, mm-hmm. and another game that we're gonna talk about mm-hmm. later. But yes, that they, oh, what do you think that about reveal that reveal? <sighs> was I don't know, I don't know, breathtaking, man. It was breathtaking. My jaw dropped. I heard Craven. Yeah, I thought I, don't I heard why, him. I don't know why people say, "Is this Craven?" Is of course it's Craven. Who else? That is it, it has to be Craven, bro. It, like. For them to throw Craven and then Venom in the mug. Like, dude, then they got Tony Todd, the OG Candyman. Mm-hmm. Voice as the voice. Venom. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? I need an Insomniac tattoo that's water. <laughs> like, I can wash it off afterwards. Because <laughs> I don't really want to. You got Peter, you got Peter Parker, Spider Man, with new tech. Mm hmm. Yeah, with the with the arms, because he saw he saw how brutal uh, Miles got. I mean, he's right, like, yeah, yo, yeah, I gotta, yeah, keep yeah, up I gotta with you. upgrade something. Hey, I gotta keep up with you. He tried right. to do his little version of the uh, the Venom blast, the Venom uh, explosion. You know, right. he gets charged up and he does his little circle around. And I hope, I hope this is multiplayer, man. What, uh, what if me and you? Don't say it! 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 Oh, oh my god. god! Okay, say it. Go ahead and say it. What if we will sing it together? Together forever. <laughs> <laughs> Love you forever. <laughs> if Man. we can sling together. <laughs> Dude. Nobody call me! Don't nobody, call me! Nobody, don't, nobody call us. So call this number. No podcast. You have like reached. The, you three call it like a, yo, we are going to hiatus. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Jennifer, write that down. We are taking hiatus nah. on if if we can web stay together. Right. You be Miles or I be Miles. Somebody matter. else be Pete. I don't matter. Don't matter. Oh <laughs> I don't even know if it's real yet. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> yes! Yes! 
Oh, oh crap! Hold on. I never even thought of. I didn't even think about that before you said it. Dude. I did not think about that, though. That's why it just hit me kind of hard right cause, now. Because it made me think that the way they 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 working together. Right. Right. Unless, because on okay, one side maybe that would be the case for the multiplayer aspect, right? Right. But in game, like uh, single player, you could swap between, I guess. Uh, but that'd be kind of weird. Right. That would be. You know, weird. that wouldn't be like a very organic flow to the game. I mean, it kind of be like those old games where you just like morph into the next person's body. Right. 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 No, 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 <laughs> so. No, no, no. I am so hoping what you just said is what comes out in the end. Oh yeah. my god, G. I almost Man. had a heart attack. Ooh. Well, you need to whew, you need to tell me that before <laughs> when we planning that you're gonna say this shit. God dang. <laughs> god hey. But anyway, we are super hype super hype for that game, dog. And then Venom on top of that. What if you could even play as Venom, my dude? What if they? Cause you know this game. What? what the, when did they say this game is dropping? Twenty twenty three. Yeah, man. Uh, they got a dude. They got enough time to drop to make this thing like super Perfect. huge. Yes. Super huge, dude. Yeah. He, and well, Tony Todd said is it's going to be massive. It has to be. You can't throw two Spider Mans in there. You can't have freaking. Craven and Venom Shh. and then two Spider Mans. And the game's thirty hours. Nah, 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 nah. nah. <laughs> that nah, shit nah, to be forty nah. hours plus, man. Pink, yeah. Make that shit be a whole the bunch world. of DLCs after that. Too. Ooh, and the multi. Man, just, I, I just want what you said. Just give me that. <laughs> I wouldn't even play the game. I just me and me and my boys swing right. it to New York. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta cry. Oh, We're at. We swing it. <laughs> Can you imagine that gameplay? I'm just screaming in your ear the whole time off of excitement. I'm just like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, but anybody watching that Twitch stream is gonna be like, dude, they do nothing but scream. Wait, they oh, they're like, screaming. <laughs> just what? Like, they're just screaming for. We just excited. We just yeah, happy, man. God. Yeah. We just so freaking happy. Let us enjoy oh. it. <laughs> If you look, folks, if you shared the joy and hoping for this, let us know if there's something. Yes, please. We want to hear your feelings behind this showcase, man. Oh my god. I Give us like some Christmas comments now. so we can so we can blow up the universe. Greg. Yeah. Oh Johnny. <laughs> oh. That's all I'm gonna say, dog. Man. That's where the, that's where the fun stops. Y'all better put y'all serious face on right now. Holy crap. That God of War. They done dropped that God of War. <laughs> that God of War right here right about to beat up. <laughs> oh, we've been waiting for this for how long? Just to see something of a new God of War. Sonny, you too good. Sonny, too good. Sonny, too good. You too good. Sonny, 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 too good. Sonny, you too good. You too good, Sonny. <laughs> Taking off my pants and my shirt and everything. Sonny, 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 too good. Sonny, Sonny, too good. Sonny, too good. <laughs> oh my god Dude. Dude All I'm gonna say on that God of War trailer was like Bro I got my own freaking bobsledding team I am so hyped <laughs> it, is, it is so much new things to do with snow Yeah yo it's like, cold as the shit winter, The winter makes it look super cold Hell yeah bro Because that whole thing was what There was water you able to row on that thing Now we sledding yeah, Now we sledding man God we dang still, bro we, They still rowing I still left a sad. barrel underneath the water that I did not check. I gotta go check that before it freezes up. Yep. <laughs> Let me go hey. boot that game back up before that shit freezes. <laughs> Let me go get that gold over there because that thing's gonna freeze in a couple of months. <laughs> I have to go now, back and tidy up my house. <laughs> now, now, what do you think? What do you think of the speed up, like for for the for the kid growing? Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it no. seemed like, like I was expecting it to be like a few years after. Right. Oh, you thought, you thought they were going to go right into Ragnarok. Yeah, because that cutscene the, the, on the first, at the end of the first Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. That cutscene did happen, but maybe that cutscene was like a warning of what was to come, right? right. And then some time have to pass, of course, for this long... Because it has to be a, like a long, brutal winter, and then this right. imposing, uh, the uh, incoming end of the world is going to happen here. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of glad that they did. And I was like, oh, snap, little boy growing up. Got a little yeah, big little boys yeah. in it, boys. Yeah, got a little and then, tall. <laughs> I started cracking up when I saw that <laughs> that lady, uh, Freya, came back. You killed my son! Oh, she's still <laughs> so, on that, man? She's so Crazy son. <laughs> I'm like, you didn't even clean up your mascara. That shit's all dry up yeah, on I your know. face. Wipe yeah. that thing off, yeah. girl. <laughs> I, I'm face just dirty. Oh, oh, and Kratos Kray, was like, Chris, get, get off me! <laughs> <laughs> get off me! Get off my shield! <laughs> Oh Boy. my god, he, he, what about you? Boy. But the best line of that trailer, dog, was like, can you not think like a father and think like a warrior? Ooh. I said, no. Nope. <laughs> Preach. 
I said, Kratos, you need to listen to your son. He said, reach. He said, no. <laughs> no, my ass. You better get out there, use them blades, boy. And the moves that he's putting on with these blades now, dogs. Yeah. Like, he did, like, a jump off the top body, like, a slam thing. Yeah. It kind of looked familiar to one of his previous moves in, like, I think it was um, the PS2, God of War 2. He, he doing something with what he, like, like, like uh, charge up chains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's, he's like He's doing a lot of The pulling with the enemies too Like pulling it But right. it's like so in your face too It's so much more brutal With how he's uh, Body yeah. he's, he's chucking heads Like with Hell like, yeah <laughs> With the bodies <laughs> Hell yeah The whole body with the head I don't know <gasps> And then on top of that, the the beauty of the graphics, bro. Like that, I don't know. It was like a port scene that he pulled up on a port where he met up with um the little elf dude, right? Right. The dwarf dude. But just the port, the walk along that, the the the, the broad walk. I was like, damn, how it's, much it's things did you a, put uh, on the sides? There's gonna be a lot of landscapes. There's just yeah. Gonna, you're just, just gonna be, be taking a whole bunch of photos. For real, dude. I was like, just, just the shop, one shop on the side of him walking up. I was like, that shop has so many different things in it, dog. I was yeah. like, damn. It that is some work. crazy detail, but yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, who Man, is I, was, I was ready to fight Thor. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna lose. I know I'm about to die like ten times fighting <laughs> that dude. I already tell you right now, because we, Greg, you know how we play this. <laughs> we put that shit on hard and move. <laughs> we put that shit on the highest difficulty. The hardest difficulty, yeah. folks. We do not mess around on get on God of War, dude. We, we, don't. we don't play that thing on no easy, no normal. Nah, we put nah, it on nah. God of Hard. You know hard I mean, like, yeah. hold on, pause. That it came out kind of wrong, but whoa, whoa. <laughs> the hardest mode whoa. that's still not working. Yeah, anyway, the most the game, difficult, the, game. <laughs> the most the game. difficult game setting, the difficulty of the game. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> difficult game setting. Even though I think I probably have a whoa, right now. Oh, whoa, sorry, wait, no. whoa. excited, super excited. Whoa, keep, but keep, um, keep that to yourself. Difficult. <laughs> Difficult, <laughs> difficulty. Yes, that's what we're talking about here. <laughs> right, difficulty. Yeah, yeah, man. I can. Oh God, that was. I, I watched the showcase like three times. I have to watch it three times. I'm yeah. probably gonna watch it again. Now, now here's my question with this game. Uh huh. Do you have to have like? Does this connect to the first one as far as like? You know how they left uh, those uh, different realms locked. Right. Do you no, need... but did you not? Did you not hear what they said though? Or. All the nine realms are going to be accessible. Right. So I was asking this question because why? Why would you show the the realms locked in the first game? Why you just uh -huh. didn't just have the story just push you into this? Uh, why you like they show you can go to this, but when you click on it, it's locked. Right. So that made me think that you have to play the first game in order. Oh, you think you, know you have what I'm to? Like that would be kind of messed up. Way. It, right, right. It would be, or maybe there'll be an option for you to bring over like your your data, your uh, your gear. Because of course, if you beat it, then you could just go and just like upgrade your. I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna work. Right. I see. We'll I see, see what you're saying. I see what we'll you're saying. Because we'll other see. than the fact that they were just teasing, like this is what's to come. Oh, maybe the it was game, just. That's, yeah, maybe that's what I, that's what I took it as. Like that's yeah. it was just a tease. Like here, these are the realms that you may not be able to play right now. But guess what? Right. It's coming in right. 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 Oh man, and that's dropping in 2022 or 23. 22, right? 22. Oh, man. I got less than seven months to get my shit yeah, together. Yeah, you got to I, I got to beat this in for a holler. Yeah. <laughs> but if you guys, anybody out there listening with the uh, Sony Showcase, you want to throw in more comments or thoughts, what you did you think, what game you looking forward to, let us know. Yes. Give us some comments. Yes, please destroy the universe with these comments. Yes. Oh, my God. We got to call it on there because we got lots oh, to talk about. Yeah. That was just the beginning. <laughs> Sony on the way. Oh, <laughs> So the way, so the my way, <laughs> Sony. Oh yes, thank you, Sony. <laughs> uh, yeah, G. We'll see you next time. We got. Let's go. All right, we got a. Uh, we got. Sound like I was equipment for a sec. Sorry. We got. <laughs> <laughs> we right. got robot waiters in Dallas. Oh man, Dallas. Something coming out of Dallas. This one's pretty close to home, though. Oh yeah, because you know people don't like to work. No. So, well, you know, <laughs> I, I mean, I like to work. You know, ooh, people. This is what I'm saying people. Uh -huh. You know, waiters. No waiter. So what you do? Mm. You create a robot to serve food for you. The first bits of robots is taking over people's jobs, folks. Right. Taking your food. Taking but your they're food. not taking. They didn't take the jobs because they, you know, they didn't want them. They taking it's, it because. Go ahead. They're there. <laughs> so they're, right. The, the jobs are just there. The, the jobs are there, but nobody's taking them. Nobody's taking them. So they don't want them. Right. right. So the robots. <laughs> this is. I don't know if the robots have been plotting this with uh, whoever. Maybe they they did something on the side with the COVID. Right. They just right. like this is how we're gonna get into the workforce. 
We need some kind of, you know, catalyst. This is it. This is how we get in. Right. So, I mean, but they don't look threatening because this one picture, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it on our post. It looks like a like, little, like, kitty, little kitty face. Right, right, right. <laughs> I can't be threatened by this. <laughs> Unless it goes into angry kitty. <laughs> angry so, kitty boy. So they got, they got three of these these bots mm-hmm. that, that's kind of like greet the customers and they bring them to their tables. Wow. Man, that's weird, bro. And it's rolling you on over. Welcome into La Duni. That's yeah. the restaurant. <laughs> May I take your order, please? La Duni. Funny name for a restaurant, too. <laughs> La Duni. Hey, <laughs> what do they give compliments? Hey, great shirt you have. I love great that shirt. shirt. <laughs> love your shirt. <laughs> I want Would it. Would you like to try the new special on our $2 tacos? <laughs> it is... <laughs> and he gets stuck in that mode. <laughs> sorry, sorry, it's, it's malfunctioning again. <laughs> <laughs> the robot stuck. <laughs> so Press a button in the back. <laughs> reboot it. Reboot it. That thing is loud as hell. <laughs> I want to give you the code. Six, five, two, eight. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. The Wi-Fi is off. Hold on. We got to connect the Wi-Fi back to the robot. Oh, man. Reboot the Wi-Fi. Reboot it. <laughs> <laughs> what a scene at La Duty today. <laughs> I ain't never going back. This service is horrible. <laughs> and the name is, the restaurant name is La Duty. La Duty! So this is a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> yeah, tacos. Yeah. Tacos, yeah, tacos. Robots sets uh, serving you tacos. But yeah. I saw, like, the video, like, I guess you they put the order on the robot, too. And the robot gets to wheel it on over to the uh, to the table with a smile of a catty face. Now, it's, it's now we think this is brand new to us, but this probably just the normal day in Tokyo. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we've already, I think we already talked about Tokyo uh, with their robots already. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Dallas is on is on their way. I mean, uh, if you yeah. guys don't want robots taking over in the workforce, well, get the jobs. But I kind of understand why these jobs are available, like why they're open. Because, I mean, you, we've all read like, okay, due to COVID, people are looking for better paying jobs to at least support their lifestyle now, mm-hmm. right? Like the pay that used to be is not going to cut it for people anymore, right? Yeah. Because times are a lot more harder with, with the situation and all that. We know what's going on. So it's like, I ain't going to work in no little no duty for $8 an hour. Like, $8 an hour. Nah. Get that shit to a robot. The nah. robot be like, I will take your check. As <laughs> <laughs> long as those robots don't malfunction and be, be, be spitting out plates, <laughs> hitting people in the head. <laughs> this damn robot threw chucked a taco at me, bro. What the hell? <laughs> Fix your robots. <laughs> La Booney don't got this problem. La Booney's right, right next to I'm door. tired of this work. I am not malfunctioning. I'm doing what I want to do right now. Is it okay if I go take my 30-minute break? <laughs> smoke, break. <laughs> smoke break. Smoke <laughs> break. They, 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 they smoke in some electric little port. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the good product. <laughs> this is what I need. This is what? the lit- lithium battery that I wanted. <laughs> lithium battery. <laughs> What, what is he puffing out? <laughs> he got a little puff action uh, <laughs> puff uh, image on his face. Oh he puffing out radiated fumes. <laughs> <laughs> this little robot kitten is <laughs> puffing on the job. What uh, a day. It has been super has stressful. Been. <laughs> super I'm stressful. ready to finish this and go home. <laughs> <laughs> Boss has asked me to stay for overtime. I said hell no. <laughs> I can't wait to get home to charge. <laughs> <laughs> to charge. Recharge. <laughs> I cannot wait to go and watch iRobot later. <laughs> that movie is my mantra. <laughs> I can't wait to watch my role model, Wally. <laughs> Wally is God for us. <laughs> Wally is he, is he is the man, or should I say, machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, so yeah, if you want to go get yourself a, a you know served by robots there in yes. Dallas, go check it out. I don't know, man. It's a four hour drive. I don't really, you know. They say the best if, thing about Dallas is I forty five. If I so was uh, leaving Dallas, I don't want to go there. If if I was in Dallas, I'd go to that restaurant. Yeah, maybe. I mean, if we find ourselves stumble upon in in, in right. Dallas, maybe we just you like stumble upon like if I that. fall into Dallas. Yeah, for, <laughs> <laughs> just I trip and fall. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh shit! I trip fall. I fell yeah. into Dallas. How the hell did you do that? Well, well, might as well go to this restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> might as well go to Little Duty. Oh, Duty. It, my God. It is ADNG Pete from, from Call It Like I Don't See It podcast. Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> from Call It Like I Don't See It podcast. <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen. Oh, my God. That time that you talked about us on your podcast, we were so thrilled. Uh, uh, 
Let's do it again, damn it! I reboot! Reboot! I laugh so loud when you say stumbled into Dallas. Ha 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 we can call it right then and there. Call, oh, call it on the robots, please. We'll call <laughs> please call it on the robots. <laughs> what we got oh, next on the docket? We got something a little bit emotional here, folks. Yeah. So uh, it was the Blues Clues uh, 25th anniversary. Mm. And a uh, certain young man, well, not young man, certain guy that we knew from before in our childhood uh, right. came back with the message we didn't know we needed in our lives, mm-hmm. but uh, came and hit us with a hard one right there. <laughs> it was Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it was Steve. Steve from Blue's Clues. He remembered me. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Okay, okay, AD. He remembered us all. <laughs> Blue's you Clues, Blue Clues, you gotta think. No, dude, think. that's the first time Blue's Clues actually felt like Blue Clues. You know what I mean? <laughs> He comes back with the most emotional, heart-stopping message, bro. Like, explaining why he left. You know, which I didn't even know I needed an explanation. Right. I, just, I just thought he left because, you know, times are changing. I was like, all right, new yeah. host. He came he, back and, and then said, he did it. He did it the way, like, he saw you at a party. And then, like, oh, right. I ain't seen you in a long time. Yeah. Hey. You know what I hey. mean? Like, he, like, he's been your friend. Like, oh, dude, he really, like, that parasocial thing was crazy. It's just, like, he feels like you like you feel like he's your actual buddy from a long time ago. Long, long time ago. And then he's like, how you been? I'm like, well, you know, I, I, you know, I did this shit. Uh, high school was kind of fucked up, but then I came back. I got to pay bills, man. <laughs> And then he's like, you know, he's, he, he looks like he went off on some kind of like monk journey and he came back like with so much knowledge, you know right, what I mean? Right, right, like yeah. he's like he's seen the other side of like, I don't know where you came from, but he's been to the other side of something and he's come back to tell us, hey, man, hey. <laughs> like, let it go. Everything's all right. I seen the green God, side of the world and you got to travel. And he was so thankful for going to college. I guess the green side for him was college. <laughs> he's yeah. like, you know, but look at you. And then when he said that, look at you. I'm like, don't look at me. I'm not doing anything like what you're doing. <laughs> look, look at me. I looked at look myself. At you. Look, you're what, what you me. me. Don't look at me, god dang it. No. <laughs> I'm an alcoholic. I can't get my shit right. I'm still trying to be, beat this Valhalla game. Don't look at me, damn it. Don't look at me. <sighs> but how are you doing, Steve? Well, I got a PS5. <laughs> <laughs> I, I picked up Adam. I showed him to the team. I'm like, Luke, I got a son. I try, I try, to, show, try to show Steve everything I got. Oh, I have a Hold life. On. I'm like, come here, honey. Come here. Come here. He needs to see you. He needs to see you. Look what I've done. This is my place. Has it been a, did it please you, Steve? Did it please you? Say did yes. I do okay? Say yes. Please say I did okay. <laughs> Please say my life is worth something, <laughs> Steve. And then at the end, he goes say, "Oh yeah, you look great." No, oh, God, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "See, I can't stop eating burgers. I got this little side <laughs> gut." No, oh, God, shit. <laughs> do I still look pretty? I can't fit my clothes. I got two gray hairs. <laughs> I got. <laughs> <laughs> I got these two grays, Steve. I can't seem to cut down my weight. These Sonic burgers are killing me, Steve. <laughs> help me out. It takes it's me like, five minutes to get up, Steve. Oh, Steve, help me. Help me, Lord. Help me, Steve. They got this thing called a COVID. <laughs> Steve, yo, no. I'm telling you, dog, like, with COVID going on, this is the best message to come out. Yes, like, man, we needed yeah. somebody to just be like, hey, man, you're still doing yeah. great. I we, know, like, shit's gone to shit, but we still needed doing great. somebody from a long time ago to right, appear dude. in your life and say everything's going to be fine. And I'm, I'm like, I didn't even watch the whole series of Blue's Clues. I watched here bit, bits and pieces. At the beginning, he used to annoy me, and then I was like, all right, this guy's kind of cool, whatever. Me too. Like, you know. I, I think Blue's Clues started when I was like, what? Becoming a teen? I don't even want to throw it back right now. You already mentioned the grades, so I don't want to throw my age up there. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, to, but for him to come back, it's like, dude, like this, for like Yoda coming back from, from <laughs> in spirit form. Like, what the hell? <laughs> 
What you doing here? <laughs> so I thought you were dead. <laughs> I thought you were dead. <laughs> I could have sworn I saw something you was missing or something like that. I could have sworn Steve was dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, folks. I could have sworn Steve was dead. Oh, I was like, hey, wasn't you in like some kind of accident? No. Oh, you, man. Oh, you were right. Okay. Dude, well, thank you, Steve. Steve said he went on a bus and left, and I ain't explain why. <sighs> And Damn. here I am, twenty something years later. By twenty five years. That's to tell you, man. Twenty fifth anniversary for Blues Clues. God damn, oh, yeah. man. I'm glad Blues Clues still going strong, though. That's that's good right? for the kids. Yeah. And listen, folks. He never forgot about you. He never forgot about you. God, <laughs> <laughs> you forgot about me last week. <laughs> You're a bad friend. <laughs> How did I forget about you? You forgot about me, a cockapalooza. You bastard. <laughs> oh, you, wait, wait, wait. You forgot wait, about wait. me. You forgot about me. <laughs> you don't care. As I recall. All right, we don't got to get into it. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> we don't got to get into it. Okay. Forget it. Forget it. Right. Okay. Anyway, but yeah, thanks for the message there, Steve. Oh, man. Very heartfelt. <laughs> Very hard. Very heartfelt, yeah. All right, G, we're moving on. We got a quick back. <laughs> Move it, move it up, move it out, shoot out the middle, middle, middle out, outside. make it up, hit middle. it out, bam, <laughs> <laughs> Matrix Ooh. Resurrections trailer has released, uh, what you think AD? Woo, I like how you just pause it right there, what are you thinking? <laughs> what are you thinking? Um, <laughs> dude, I did Okay, so when I first heard that they were doing this remake, right? Or continuation. Right. I was like, do we really need one? I don't see the reason why. This Not really. Like a waste. But hey. But I looked at the trailer with an open mind. Right. And I said, you know what? This might this might actually work. <laughs> this this might actually work. Because I, just... I like what it's saying in the trailer, what they set up in the trailer. It seems as though there's there's still the matrix in existence, right? Right. All of what has happened before is in one. I'm going to try to take it into like a multiverse kind of thing. That was one verse of what happened, right? They scratched that system, rebooted it, uh -huh. and now this is the new Matrix, right? Okay. And bits and pieces of the previous Neo is coming into this new Neo, if that's okay. what's happening. I'm all confused right then and there. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> this, <laughs> this movie has me confused, man, because I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. they got a, what is it? This dude is a young Morpheus. I don't know about that. He's the only downside to the trailer to me. Trinity, I was like, Trinity walking around the block like she uh, coming from the office. I don't know <laughs> what's going on. That was really the only downside was that Morpheus knockoff. I was like, bro, get your ass off this movie, please. Uh, Jesus, know, nobody can do Lawrence Fishburne like that. What's wrong with you? It's one of those movies where I gotta see the movie to figure it out if right. I like it or not. I can't go. I can't. Um, depending on the trailer the trailer is nice don't get me wrong it was it was the action in it looks like they taking all the yeah. matrix moves to yeah. the next level dude right. like they gave keanu a kamehameha i am gonna see this movie oh yeah well yeah, <laughs> you, yeah. you don't do that i'm okay i don't give a crap about the plot now let me go see that part i just want to see that part we've been seeing a lot of kamehameha's waves uh lately like, yeah but i mean not in the matrix realm bro like no. she not like that and then like they, you know, the little fast movements to dodge the to dodge the bullets, like the two agents did it at the same time in the trailer, like like it was nothing. I was like, God dang! Yeah. And then the one kid, I don't know who he is, but he jumped off the building, and like I guess the impact of his jump was like increased or something. I don't right. know. This is they throwing in new Matrix powers for the yeah, hell of it. We got we gotta see this movie, man. We gotta see so it. yeah, we'll definitely get. I'm definitely like gonna check it out. It's the Matrix, man. You can't not. It's see the Matrix. The movie. I mean, whew, hold on now, because. <laughs> I paid the price. I mean, we paid the price when we saw that damn the third one, you know. So right, we did. But like, I only think, thing I'm gonna be shaky about going into watching. I think the first one will like always redeem a new Matrix. Mm -hmm. The first Matrix and the Animatrix. You remember the Animatrix? Right, right, yeah. Animatrix was dope. those uh -huh. two was like that. Like, like it, even if a new movie come out and if it sucks, I will still watch it because it's the Matrix. Right. So yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm still gonna watch it. You right. know, I'm, I'm gonna watch it open mind. More for the actions. Just this is some new Matrix moves and Keanu doing a damn command. Oh, yeah. Matrix Mayamaya. Matrix Mayamaya. Matrix Mayamaya. Maya. Maya. <laughs> nice. That's nice. He kind of just looks like freaking uh, John Wick, though. Just like John Wick with Matrix. Well, powers. he he always <laughs> like John Wick now with the long hair. Yeah. So. That's all we're gonna know him as. He can't break that rope. Whoa. That's John Wick. All right. Next equipment. Next equipment. <laughs> uh, Marvel has slated four new untitled movies in. 2024. Mm hmm. Ooh. 
Let the speculation begin yeah. All right. <laughs> as to what they are. What do you think they are? Oh, Fantastic Four. Hmm. Blade. In I 2024, think, you said? I, yeah. Damn, you think Fantastic Four is going to drop that soon? That's two well, years they, are, they already Wait, showed no, you logo. Ago. They showed your logo almost a year ago. Oh, yeah, you're right. You sure right. It might yeah. be them. Yeah, I think it's Fantastic Four, Blade, and I, think, I, I don't know why I'm saying this, but I think Deadpool. Right. No, yeah, Deadpool's got to be seeing, there You've been seeing like a lot of Deadpool. Yeah. You know, ever since that free guy promotion. Yeah, you see him pop up here and there, little little with, side with, uh, promotions, Korg, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, he's yeah. popping up. So he, I don't they know working the, their way in there. I think I got three out of the three out of the four, but I don't know what the other one's gonna be. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I I, I would speculate. I, I would speculate. I would. I was gonna say X Men. I think maybe an X Men movie. Yeah. Um, I would say Fantastic Four. Uh, but it seems like it's movies that that wasn't on the docket before. Captain right. America four might have to be one of them. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Might yeah. have to be one of those. Yeah, Captain Mac America 4. For, for yeah. Captain four. So it might yeah. be one of those. They might do a Hulk movie. I don't know. We could get a Hulk movie. Can't get no Hulk movie because Universe still got the rights to that. Ah oh, shit. Yeah, that's man. why he only in like, you know After all this Avengers time? and Thor movies. So yeah, they you can't have us stand alone. Anyway, well, let the speculation continue and uh, yeah. stay tuned. I can't wait. 2024, bro. Oh, yeah. I'll see you then. Hopefully, we make it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got two grades. I don't know how much more look I got. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on with these movies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next, we're we'll moving on to little spurts. Stuck in uh, Back to the... Football is back. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Football is back, dog. Started off uh, this past Thursday with the Tampa Bay Championship Tom Brady Bucks beating the Dallas Cowboys. That was actually one of the better opening games I've seen in a long time right. for the season. That yeah. game was super entertaining. So do you think the Bucks go to... Repeat? Yeah. I mean, it's Tom Brady, bro. He's got seven. I don't know. I wouldn't put it against him. I wouldn't put it. I don't know what's driving this guy right now to get number eight, but what's been driving him to get number five and six and seven? You know, just just whatever. Just just go play your game. If you guys are tired, like at at this point, I have the utmost respect for him as a quarterback. Like I used to hate him back in the day when I was younger, but now I'm like, you know what? He he did it. He he knows what he's doing. He apparently could go to another team and make them win the Super Bowl in in his first season with them. So that's true. So I give him the respect. If y'all tired of him, then go beat him. <laughs> go go do your best and play smart football. Go beat him. <laughs> go beat him. Don't sit there. Oh, I can't stand Tom Brady. Well, make your team play smart and go do something about it. How about that? Shut up. Watch it. It was a damn good day. Good game though. Good game. Dak Prescott came back after that ankle injury last year, and I was like, man, he showed up. He threw up yeah. over four hundred plus yards, and I'm like, He's y'all gonna ready. be all right. Y'all yeah. going to be all right. I'm not a Cowboys fan. I don't really like the Cowboys, but I w- I'm rooting for Dak. I want Dak to have a great season. And I don't know. Maybe they might, you know, come back and surprise people later on this year because they played Listen. a hell of a good game. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, tomorrow, actually, yeah, Sunday, we're recording right now, Saturday. So, yeah, tomorrow yeah. morning, tomorrow evening, it's going to be lit city mm-hmm. football from 12 p.m. to 10 o'clock. <laughs> Woo! We have to battle the wife for the TV. <laughs> Look at that. This one's showing right now. Oh, my God. But, yeah, man. So hyped for that. And uh, yeah. I do believe your team plays my team this week. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Saints, uh, Saints backers? Yeah, we, yeah, 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 yeah. You, uh, you know, bet. You want to put a bet? You want to put a bet? <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> Well, good luck, man. I know you guys don't got Drew Brees, yeah. so uh, that's so, going to be yeah. a little tight. Yeah, we, tight yeah. we'll see what happens. Sorry, but NFL, baby. Oh, it's, I love the fall feeling, bro. There's nothing like the fall feeling where you get fall and you got football. <laughs> this is Christmas is right around the corner. I can't wait till it just start getting cooler. Yes. Yes. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's good bit. Is that it for good bits? I think that's it for no, good bits. No, that is right? not. No, that is not. What do you mean? We got an update. Breaking. Well, it's not breaking news, but a uh, little Uzi people. <sighs> Uzi, um, really? He had a concert. You remember we talked about Lil Uzi? Uh, episode yeah, the Diamond, episode. <laughs> <laughs> diamond in the Rough. Yeah. Diamond in the Rough. Little Diamond in the Rough. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, How he doing? <laughs> oh, man. He, 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 he alright, but he ain't doing that well because. Uh, uh, he had a concert and a fan tried to yank out the diamond. <laughs> he tried Somebody to do the, a Thanos. Somebody Thanos him. Thanos him. 
Did, was they successful? Were they successful? They got it loose. It's loose right now. <laughs> it's it's dangling. It's, <laughs> it's, it's got a dangling it's, it, it's not tight as it was before. Uh, Maybe the beam, the was... beam don't work. Uh-huh. <laughs> the beam doesn't the work. The beam doesn't work. <laughs> How did a fan get that close to yanking out of his foot? Was Thanos know. in the crowd? Was that Thanos? A big old hand crowd? came out of the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> it's you know, fun isn't something I like to consider <laughs> when I'm at an Uzi concert, but this does put a smile on, on my, my face. face. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. So he's okay? I I'm not even concerned about this guy. But it's nah, <laughs> he, he, he's all right. It's just, it's just loose. But it's just I, think, I think oh, wow. uh, he should take that out. He should probably take it. That's dangerous, man. If it's dangling, that means if he rips it out, somebody actually does rip it out. It might, you know, take some extra flesh with him. Yeah, it's, taking might, his, it's taking his whole essence out. That's... I'm no body anatomy, but that uh, expert, but that might hurt. Yeah, <laughs> that it's, might oh, it's definitely going to hurt. I mean, look at Vision. He might be the new Vision. That's what it exactly. is. It's like <laughs> He's the out, living Vision. It's like taking out the, the Giver <laughs> element. You, out can't, of the Giver. you can't hurt me. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> ah! Uzi out. Uzi, Uzi out. Uh. Uzi offline. <laughs> oh my god, we have to fix the oozer. <laughs> the oozer on. The oozer on. Oozer on 3000 has lost his memory stick. <laughs> he needs his, his flash drive. He needs his back data. Back in his forehead. Back in his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> back up, back up in his forehead. Back up. Tell the crowd to back up so we can. I found the culprit. It was indeed Thanos. <laughs> I am not messing with Thanos. <laughs> Everybody get away from Thanos. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Throw tacos at him. <laughs> Throw tacos at Uzi. Oh, Throw the tacos at Uzi. Make the diamond go back in his forehead. <laughs> Call it, please. Jennifer, thank Uh-oh. you. Uh-oh. And that was Quinn Woo! <laughs> yeah! Move it on. Move it on. All right, so um, this is actually we're recording here on uh, 9-11. Funny yeah. enough, though, it is 9-11 that we're recording this on. Yes. And so we kind of wanted to take a moment to just re- do a little remembrance here of, you know, that day itself. It's such a tragic day. Right. And um, we just, you know, wanted to share our stories of what, where were we, what, how did we take the day as it happened and the events of 9-11. Right. So, uh, G, you want to start it off? Uh, yeah, so where, where were you on this crazy, well, that crazy day, though? During 9-11. During 9-11, I was in school, and it was like, I think it happened in between periods. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I got into the next period, the teacher was like, everybody, something happened. You know, explain, basically explain what was happening. Right. And uh, then, you know how teachers don't really never put on the television. Right. They put it on today, and they and they showed us exactly what was going on. So, I think we was on lockdown. I think everybody was on lockdown. Was in your, in your school? Yeah, just schools in general was on lockdown. Because mm. they, I don't, because they was like, they didn't know what was happening, mm-hmm. or, or which attack will come next. Well, what was coming next, right? Yeah, because right, right. anything could, you know, you know what I'm saying. Anything could happen. Mm. So, yeah. Damn, yeah, that's what had happened. And then how did how did you get, like did you leave school early that day? Uh, oh, you went through no. the whole day. Did we? I think we, we did. No, no. Mm. We yeah we, we we did we did. I think we did. Okay. Yeah. And then what was it like when you got home? Uh, what I was like when I got home, all basically it was a whole bunch of the, just breaking news everywhere. Just mm. it was just everywhere on the channel. It wasn't just in. You know how you try to try, like try to get away from the madness on right, right, during, right. on television. You can't mm-hmm. get away from doing that because nah, it was you... on what Cartoon Network. It was on yeah, dude. Uh, MTV. It was on. It was on Nickelodeon. Everything. I was it was like, on everything. Damn. So yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it was definitely nuts. Yeah, jeez. Mm-hmm. Well, you were in high school at the time, right? You said. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we were we were in high school at the same time then. You're just yeah. a little yeah, probably like yeah. junior or senior, junior. All sophomore. No, because I was a freshman in high school. Well, you were a freshman. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wow. something like that. Wait. 
So. Well, maybe I should tell my story so we can link up our days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> link up, up the hell we were at. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, I, I, I mean, I vividly remember that day, dude, because, like, um, folks, if you haven't noticed, I told you guys already, I'm from originally from New York, used to live there. Right. And um, so we, my, my school was kind of like on the tip of, like, close to the tip of Brooklyn on the island area. Mm-hmm. And um, I mean, it's all an island, so we so we could see like Manhattan and you know off in the distance uh, mm-hmm. if you're at the top floor. So I was what freshman freshman in high school, yeah, ninth grade, um, on the football team, and this was what like second I think it was second period second period that that we got like we were seeing smoke in the classroom, right? Like off in the sky. It was a beautiful day though. I do remember that because every 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 time I see in these videos, I'm like, it was a beautiful day. I remember that. It was a gorgeous like regular Tuesday. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, then we get to see all this white smoke. So, but in Brooklyn, we used to have a lot of these uh, warehouse fires a lot. I don't know why. There's always like some warehouse that was on fire. Right. So we were probably like, oh, it's another warehouse fire. So we wasn't thinking too much about it. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, by third period, people start leaving school. Right. I'm like, what the hell y'all going? And then. Uh, but about let me see, about like I want to say like around eleven or ten, ten or eleven. Uh, my uncle came to pick me and my cousin because my cousin and I were going to school at the same time. Right. Um, he picked us up. We're going home. I was like, oh snap, we going home. I was all hyped because I didn't do the homework for the for the, <laughs> the last three classes of my day. I was like, I do the homework. This is great. I'm out. <laughs> so so <laughs> during this during this moment, you did you find out what? what I, did, I had no that? idea what was going on. Oh, I had okay. no idea what was going on. Okay. All I know was like there was some fire, and I was just like, all right, sweet. And then I did, but on my way, like getting ready to get out because he was on his way to get us. That was the message. Uh-huh. And um, on my way to get out and and like get my stuff ready, then I was hearing rumors. People was talking in the hallway about you know something happened and, and i actually saw um when i walked in the hallway like this girl and her two friends were like around her consoling her at the same time right. and she was crying and i was like what's what's going on and then you know that's when somebody say hey something happened in manhattan dude to the to the twin towers to the world mm. trade center and at the time dude i didn't know what the world trade center was because we never visited right yeah. i just i just knew I, I just knew there was two tall buildings there i didn't know what the names were you yeah. know what i mean um I knew the Empire State Building, but I didn't know all the buildings of, of Manhattan back at the time. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Um, so they was like, all right, what's, well, what's the World Trade Center? What's all that? Okay. And, I, and they were like, I think her dad is working there or something like that. And I was just like, uh-huh. oh, man, that must be tough. I don't know what's really happening. So we get in the car and we're driving home, right? I'm, I'm like hyped. I'm like, yo, man, we out. No football practice today. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Wait, then, so, so, <laughs> so you, st- you just worried about being out I was just worried. I was, I was hyped to be out of school, bro. <laughs> okay. I was was so hyped to be out of school i was like because i told you so i didn't you did, do the homework for I, the last three periods of the right. day right because uh-huh. i had homework for those three classes and i did not do them i was like i ain't doing this shit and oh. then <laughs> i was a little rebel back in high school bro <laughs> you know what i mean so so you you thought it wasn't a big big, big experience. i thought it was you just, just i didn't think like a little fire this right i just thought it was a big guy. fire and yeah so then but once we were in the car and my cousin asked my uncle what was going on and then my uncle had a serious look on his face and then he was like um you know they attack the twin towers and they thinking like they're coming to attack the schools next i'm like wait somebody and then that's when i was like wait somebody was coming to attack the school like my school right <laughs> you know and then he's like they don't know but they're thinking they're gonna be bombing schools next i was like bombing that was a right. bomb right and then they, that's when that's it started what I'm saying. they didn't know if like you know they were gonna just right they don't know where it well, anything was going to happen next. they just right. didn't, we, they, so they didn't know they, nobody yeah. knew everybody thought like something was going to happen to where they were at you know what i mean right right um and that's how the news was just like shooting off of them out that morning dude and then he had like this news station on and i was just like what the hell is going on they bombing places in new york and it wasn't until we get home and it was like midday middle of the day and then like we were in the apartment at the time and my mom's like freaking out and the tv's on i'm like what is going on so we sitting around in the living room yeah. and i'm still hyped because i'm like dude there might be no school tomorrow that was my thing i'm sorry right i was just like there might be no school tomorrow they're gonna bomb the school right and i was just making sure because i didn't do that homework yeah. <laughs> but um so we watch it i was like i don't want you to come in you don't know that homework there's a bomb threat you hear about the bomb threat i didn't do the homework anyway <laughs> so we we're watching the tv and then that's when i was like oh shit this is yeah. actually real life right so i was like so when the news came in like okay two planes hit i was like two planes hit the twin towers yeah and then we're seeing them crumble on the tv and i was like so wait though so, so then i remember myself specifically saying to my mom i was like so wait they're not there anymore i had to make sure that that was real i was like uh-huh. so those buildings aren't there anymore like we never got to visit those buildings right. and then she's like yeah that, and then 
the next part that was freaky about it was uh, my dad, uh, rest in peace, at the time, he was working in Manhattan, right? Mm -hmm. And um, we we couldn't get in contact. And that's when my mom was, like, freaking out more because we, we couldn't really get in contact with him, uh -huh. right? Because he I – and then for me, I didn't really know where my dad worked, like, per se. I didn't know the location. Right. So I automatically started thinking, I'm like, wait, does dad work, like, next to that building? Or I'm like, okay, what was going on? Right. Um, and he didn't we, like my mom was like, where is he? And we seeing people we seeing people on the news actually walking across the Brooklyn Bridge to get home. And I was like, if he's in that, he ain't coming home till like eight o'clock because that's a lot of traffic. Right. You know what I mean? And so it wasn't until I think it wasn't until like seven o'clock. I want to say around like seven or eight, so seven or eight that he came home. Right. Mm -hmm. And I remember I see my mom like like ran to him kiss him up and everything and just was like so happy that he made home and i was like yeah. oh snap dude you uh, and, and so he came and i was just like hey, what the hell is going on out there yeah. <laughs> and i was like you need to explain what's going on yeah. <laughs> you know um and just we just sat there and watched the tv for the rest of the night like we watched it till about i want to say till 11 because schools were definitely closed the next day mm -hmm. which i was once again hyped about because i didn't do the homework and um I was just like, dude, this is real. And then, like, me and my bros we were around the time talking. I was just like, yo, bro, this is this is serious, dude. Yeah. We, you know, we knew it was serious, but we didn't really know the extent of the, the the seriousness until like a day later when we find out like the Pentagon thing happened, the flight right. crashed, yeah. and I was like, what the fuck? Right. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. This was real life. <laughs> So that was a I, that was a seriously like chilling the most chilling I've ever felt being in New York because I was like it wasn't feeling okay to like go places for a while in New York right. City. Yeah. After that, people were saying more nice. cautious at home. Hell yeah. Yeah. So that was that day, dude. It was it. Was, I remember that day was nuts, bro. And then they canceled our games that weekend too because we had we normally had like football games like on the Saturday. Uh huh. And they canceled the game. I think they canceled all sports activities across America that day, that that week. Right. Um, so that was nuts. And I was just like, man, bro, this thing is crazy. And then we didn't really, I didn't really understand the extent of how many people died. Yeah, um, but I do remember vividly to this day because they showed it on TV. And I was like, how are they going to show that on TV? Was the people jumping out of the building. Mm. Like they showed like two or three bodies jumping out. I was like, at first, I was like, what's that? You know, <laughs> even though I know what it is, I was just making sure I didn't see something. Right. And I was like, that was a body. And then, like, the papers the next day or the New York Times and the New York Post had pictures of the people, like, the little images, the silhouettes of them out mm -hmm. jumping out of the bell. I was like, what why, the f What the hell? Why would you, why would you post that on a, on a newspaper? Though? But I don't know why you would post it on, but I mean to show. I guess to show the terror of it, really. I know, but like, like the 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 building itself should be the terror. The terror enough, right? Right. right? Yeah. Well, I can understand. Okay, I understand with the. I don't understand with the newspaper doing that, but I can understand with the TV showing it because it's it's a live. It's like it was almost like live stream. Like you don't know what you're really gonna see. Because you know like I mean? it's basically like both. You, you yeah you you, you right you, because back. Back then, they didn't have the, um, you know, like they do the twenty second, the, tw the ten or twenty second uh, delay in showing something, right? Right. Because right? right. that didn't happen until the, the Janet Jackson boob popping out thing. Yeah, so, so, right? so, <laughs> so one titty changed that. Yeah, 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 that changed that later in terms of like we need to make sure we can like see stuff before we actually broadcast it. Right. You know, so it's not like so live, but because this was live, live, and there was no control, you saw the bodies jumping out. Right. And I was just like, dude, this is crazy, bro. I we didn't, I didn't really sleep well. I don't, I don't remember sleeping proper that 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 week. Yeah. It was tough. And then when we got back to school, eventually, it was like the most quietest ever. And this right. was the was second. This weird. was the top worst uh, high school in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. in New York City at the time. Right. <laughs> that I went to gang violence activity up the charts. Right. Super quiet. Not Nobody that week. Nothing. Not that week. Just... Nobody was fighting. Mellow out, hey. So, Nobody's fighting. Yeah. Everybody's trying to figure out like what the what's hell, going, what's going on, or what's going to happen next, or if right. anything's going to happen next. If anything, man, I wish I knew you back then. I'd have flown down to Houston, bro, <laughs> or flown out to Louisiana. New Orleans. Like, <laughs> you flew down to New Orleans. <laughs> like Greg, you see what's going on, man? I would have called you up so quick, like <laughs> my high pitch ass puberty yeah. voice. <laughs> hey, Greg, you, you alright? <laughs> GP, <laughs> I don't know what's going on, man. It's, it's going crazy over here. It's smoking. The fire. Uh, they, they say it was a bomb. I don't know. A bomb in the building. I can't go back to school. I didn't do the homework, though. 
<laughs> but yeah. as you get old, I realize as you as you get older, like you you start understanding the magnitude of what happened that day, right? And the lives that have been affected. I mean, right. and I just recently found out the smoke from that debris mm-hmm. of the towers actually killed more people like 10 Afterwards, 15 years yeah. later yeah, yeah. Got, got stuck in their lungs and their bodies yeah. mesothelioma all these other side mm-hmm. cancers and they had all these things i was like damn dude they still dying from 9-11 right that's and they, crazy and, they thought, and, they, and, and like you living your life thinking that 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 what happened to you you survived then right but, but it lays on it kills you from that it's like <sighs> Like, wait, I got cancer from that? Dude, that was yeah. 15 years ago. Right. That's cra- That was the mind-blowing part of it, man. That was yeah, the mind-blowing man. part of it. And then the, the all the speculations and conspiracies that p- came up afterwards was nonstop. And then as we got older, it just became more like what really happened that day? Mm-hmm. Why did it happen? And all these theories popping out. And I'm even watching this one uh, thing on Netflix right now. Um, I think it's called 9-11 um, Turning Point or something like that. Mm-hmm. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty in depth in explaining like Osama bin Laden stuff and the day of and how things were at the Pentagon. So I, I highly recommend if you you want more information on it to watch that 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 would give you some good insight the other day. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, just just felt like we should uh you know do, do it justice, just talk about it a bit because sometimes we're like yeah. like a couple years ago I was like man 11 again why do they keep bringing this up <laughs> you know but then I, I'm realizing now especially. As a father now, man, things hit freaking hard as hell. I'm like, yeah. I can't imagine I go to work one day and my son is like, Daddy's not coming home. Like, because right. of a plane crashing in his building. Yeah. That is not, that's freaking crazy, bro. Yeah. Uh, that's me, crazy. actually, during during your uh, wedding, wedding, we uh, went to go see the, uh, the, the memorial? memorial. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, 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 do, what I've never been to the memorial. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's it's too chilling for me to go stand there. <laughs> you know, yeah. like yeah, that's that's too chilling for me. But how? What did you feel when you went? I felt felt like this big empty hole that was missing. But they, you know, they made it as a, a, a memorial thing. Yeah. So. But uh, yeah, it was it was weird to to stand just near it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah. Sad yeah, because because you know, and, and then the thing like, because I know for me, if I go and stand there, I'm, I'm like, did a did like a body drop here? You know, I I wouldn't feel right standing there. You though. start like, you start thinking about like you start picturing it the day of it, right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. people died on that floor, like they right. they literally their bodies dropped on that floor. How can we go and stand on it? I don't know. Yeah. I just. I wasn't even right when they were doing the, like the little thing there, the memorial thing. I was like, I don't know. They just probably just like make that site like untouchable for some reason. Mm. I mean, it's it's okay to. I mean, I, I get it with the the make you know memories and all that for the the ones lost. But mm-hmm. oh my god, that, I'll be so super creeped out walking there. Yeah. Maybe I'll visit it one day. We'll see. We'll see. To show my son, like, hey man, this is this is crazy. Yeah. And um, of course, everything changed in the world after that. Yeah. <laughs> Everything went on lockdown mode and more mm-hmm. security and paranoia of the A. Mm-hmm. Man. Dude, you ever you ever think about like 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 in your lifetime all all this crazy stuff would happen? Hell no. Exactly. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I mean, because you know, back then you thinking like, okay, Pearl Harbor, you know, uh World War Two. Right. Those things happened in the old days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like that ain't now, you know. Right. That ain't right. now. That's over. Nope. Yeah. And you get hit with this, and it's like. But then, like, let me let me broaden the scale here because in growing up and finding out, we're here remembering the lives there and people with you know the twin towers and, and Pentagon and mm-hmm. on the plane, but the amount of lives that got lost in Pakistan too. Right. Yeah. Like forty, the forty thousand plus the stuff that's going on. down now over there it's right like, it's, it's civilians just, that yeah. died over there is another thing you got to remember too on this day it's like right. like 9-11 didn't just just you know yeah it didn't happen in new york and the pentagon blah 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 but dude across in the middle east yeah. civilian innocent people died there too think think about the stuff we don't know about I, and happens, that's you know that's why the world can be so cruel at times. right right right, <laughs> like, right. 
It's like you you thinking on this small aspect of how much lives right. is lost. You think you just thinking about your little block. Think about yeah, this but, whole world bro. that's going down there that we don't know about. Ah, from spanning from one event, bro. Like yeah. that is just a massive wave of death all over the place. Yeah. Who? Joy, we gotta we gotta listen to our boy Steve, man. I, that's all I was saying. I'm glad yeah, he man. came out, man. I played that yeah. Steve. I was like, thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. yeah. But you gotta. One thing is, you gotta hold on to what's good, you know, in this oh, world. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like savor the time that you have. Savor it all, man. Savor each day. Yeah. Like I like this podcast. I love this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I want to hold on to this. It, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. us joy. Yes. I hope you and folks there listening, you know, hold on. If you don't have anything else to hold on, hold on to us. Hell, hold on to these <laughs> big people that's in your air holes exactly, right now. Exactly, yes. Don't do whatever, you know, that's going to make you go down a worse a path. A crazy just, path, yeah. Just listen just, to us. We, right. You'll be all right. Yeah. You want to be our friend? We want to be your friend. <laughs> you know, just, just, just hang on. Yeah. Oh man! So yeah, if you also if you want to uh, throw in your nine eleven story, what was that day like for you? Send us an email. We love. We want more comments to destroy comments. the universe. Yes, <laughs> kind of twisted. Dr- we want Dr- comments Dr- to destroy the universe. <laughs> <laughs> it is so it's like I don't saying. see it. <laughs> It's a saying. <laughs> it's we a saying. We're trying to break the universe. <laughs> Somebody take it out of context. Green GP and AD has got to destroy the universe here, folks. <laughs> Don't send them in the comments. Don't yeah, send them in the comments. I think comments to destroy the universe is some kind of uh, some kind of attack they're plying. I'm like, no, 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 no. no, 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 no we just no, no. we just want to hear more from you. We just want to hear. So yeah. Uh, yeah, hit us up. Call like I don't see the gmail dot com or yes. even on where we post on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Right. Let us know what was that day like. For or just you. if you want to say hi, tell us hi. Yeah, yeah. hi. Hi, call the crew. Doing? Hey, guy. And I mean, even uh, hey, if anyone's listening, you you lost a loved one. We'd like you know, right. we'd want to hear your thoughts and how how did you get through it? That'd be interesting to know yeah. too. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, we all gotta hold each other up, hold each other up. Yep. So uh, we're gonna call it right there. Call Peace. Right we'll call it. There. Yeah. Moving on from that. And uh, we did watch this movie that we got to review, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. An, an iconic dense Disney villain. Yes, definitely. Cruella. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cruella de Vil. Hey. Bum, bum. Cruella de Vil. I don't know the rest of the words. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to try to think of it. <laughs> but we sat down. We actually, I checked this movie out and um, I I wasn't like looking forward to watching this one. I was like, hey, man. I, I wasn't. I just, yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't like on the docket to watch. Like it wasn't like on the radar. But for me, I want to say I'm actually glad I watched this movie. Mm-hmm. What did you think of Cruella? I think it was good, man. Yeah. Yeah, I like the uh, this origin tale. I I was expecting the origin tale to be like this type of you know grand fashion. Yeah. Time this time era of mm-hmm. um, of story. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, but. It was pretty good, man. From yeah, the- they threw you. They threw you in the world of um, fashion designers, right? Yeah, <laughs> and I didn't. I didn't care too much about it. Yeah, it then- wasn't like, but like the, when they when they add in the uh, the, the 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 stealing the uh, right the the, the, heist, the heist moves. Yeah, the yeah, heist yeah. Moves. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was really. It was a good spin. It was like fashion designer heist thing going on here. Mama drama. It was. Yeah. It was a well put together story, dude. Yeah. It kind of really felt like Disney's version of Joker, actually, to me. Did right. you get that vibe? Uh, more like Harley, it, Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn? Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe Disney's Harley Quinn. But yeah. the similarities that I noticed between Disney with um, with di- this movie and Joker, right? Joker had his little mama drama, right? That right. wasn't like his mom. Was it his mom or like, or she had, he had some kind of psycho issues with her? Or she was a psycho or something uh, like that? It was... Uh... Yeah, that was his mom. Yeah, and then yeah. she, Emma, uh, Emma, Emma Stone's uh, character for Cruella, she had, she thought the woman that, oh yeah, spoiler alert, by the way, did we do that? Spoiler nope. alert. Spoiler alert, sorry. So she, yeah, she, she's thinking like this woman that raised her was her mom and turned out not to be, and her mom is actually Emma Thompson, who's the Baroness, yeah. and the Baroness is crazy, so they right. both share the same amount of crazy, and I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they crazy. They all crazy, but you they gotta crazy. be crazy to design those kind of, design those kind of dresses. 
But even though I'm like, so so in that sense, I was like, yeah, that this seems very Joker like, man. I I, I kind of liked it, you know. I think during the I think during the trailer when I first saw the trailer, then you know the scene where she lit her dress on fire to change uh-huh. to a new dress. I was yeah. like, I, that kind of turned me away from it. Uh-huh. But then seeing the scene and why she was trying to do that. Yeah, her motivation. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. That was because she... It, that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't expect to get anything out of this movie, but it was actually very insightful behind this character. Right. And the way it was... I, guess, I think more of it's because of how both Emmas portrayed their, their characters to, like, like perfection. They did a really well, really good job on how they, how they acted in this movie. And her, her connection with, like, you know, I want to be you, but I want to beat you. She wants to beat the Baroness. I want to be mean, better. Right, at the fashion game. So right. it, it kind of turned into like this twisted Zoolander versus yeah. Hansel situation. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, with like Zoolander, you didn't know you wanted to be laughing at no right. model, you know, the modeling world. And here yeah. we are in the fashion designer world. And it's like, oh shit, this is actually pretty cool. You know, her dresses, I mean, I don't know about you, but her dresses were on fuego. <laughs> <laughs> on fuego. The creativity. Yeah. I, I she like literally how, came out of trash, man. Yo, and that was a, a had a was a dress. Now, Greg, let me say that had to be like one of the top dresses I saw in that <laughs> movie. I like totally like that dress. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that dress was a creative as fuck. <laughs> what? I said it was creative as fuck. <laughs> You just not hear me? <laughs> Did you not hear me? <laughs> you just not hear I me? Said it was creative as far. <laughs> it's all you say, creative as far. <laughs> that's what I said. Ah. <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> ah, that's what you said. That's what I said. Ah. <laughs> stop, stop, dude. <laughs> Oh my god! But yeah, I I was actually entertained and like intrigued at how she not only designed these dresses for the Baroness, right? Yeah. The the ones that considered not her best work. She saved her best work for herself. Right. But even like the scraps was Baroness's like, oh my god, these are great. You know, I was like, damn girl, you got some skills, Gorilla. This kind of reminds me of Devil Wears Prada. Aha. Uh-huh. And yeah. um, what's another book? movie with a big boss mm, uh, maybe Matt angry boss <laughs> or mad boss. yeah 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 what's the, what's it go yeah. um, um angry boss bad boss bad, bad bosses. bosses yeah there bad bosses. Bosses. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But yeah, even and I want to throw in also the uh, the editing. The very it's very stylish too, and how they edited this movie. Like when they were showing her oh, yeah. her the rise of Cruella, and they're like throwing yeah. in the newspaper in the background of the screen while unveiling a new dress. I was right. like, man, bro, yeah, Cruella is dead. And all that. Yo, yeah, yeah, the yeah. best part to that movie though was um, I thought. She, you know, they got all the dresses put away into the safe because that was part of her plan, right? Mm-hmm. Part, of, part of her plan. Part of her plan. But um, I didn't know. <laughs> I thought those mom. were beads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a <this> schemer. <laughs> Corella's a schemer. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> So I didn't Good. know. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stop you right there. I didn't know. I thought those were bees that she pl- uh, that she was doing that really fancy golden dress with, right? Right. And for it to turn out to be moths that moths. this woman, it was eat moth up, eggs. Eat up, eat up those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other dresses, bro. Yeah. I was like, that is some cruel shit, yeah. God. But I was like, you go, girl. That, I man, Emma Thompson, man, you. Like, I always forget how much of a great actress yeah. Emma Thompson is, man. Because, like, her career of movies and, like, characters she played. It's such is, a like, wide range. Such a wide range. It's huge range. Yeah. Huge range. Yeah, and she played this part well. Great. Perfectly, dude. It, was, yeah. it, it wasn't the movie I thought I needed to watch, but apparently uh, it became the movie I deserved. Yeah, it was a good movie, man. <laughs> It was great, and and for that reasons, all of those reasons I mentioned, um, I put it up to eight and a half out of ten. It was an eight and a half for me. Eight and a half. I give it an eight. Eight. Solid eight. I'm, yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, like you could you could look at fashion and be proud of it. Just be like, <laughs> just look yeah. at it. Yeah, it was These a good designers. Movie. It was a good movie. It's fashion of that. <laughs> Say what? I said you should uh-huh. watch Cruella. Uh-huh. So fashionable. Oh, fashionable. <laughs> Like that dress is fire as fire, as fire, 
fire as fire. Uh, so listen, folks, if you want to go watch Cruella, uh, just certainly check it out, especially if you're like a fashion designer and you need some inspiration and stuff and junk because of what they do in their crazy and stuff and, stuff, and stuff, like stuff like that and stuff like that and stuff. Go watch it out, man, because it's dope as fire. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody talk like that in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. They don't. It's really serious. Sorry, no, it's really serious. Go check yeah. it out, though. It's, it's a good time. It's a good, good watch. Yeah, it was a good watch. All right, we got to call it in. We got a few call right in the door before we get up out of here. Yes, yes, yeah. All right, this one's gonna be quick though. What if? All right, yeah. What if? <laughs> Boom. That's Episode it. five. That's it. Uh, zombies. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Seven. I'll give you my review right now, dog. I'm sorry, dude. I'm giving it. I'm giving it a six, man. Six? I don't, I should, you know what? I should six and a half. I'll go six and a half. I'll drop right. it out. I'll give you half. six. All right. Six and a half. Yeah. yeah. Why six do you half. give? Why? Do you, you know give why? It? I you know, know but, why? But the people don't know. So you know why? So explain this. Explain <laughs> you know to the people. <laughs> yeah. Explain to the people. Bro, you know this, this episode was a goddamn letdown, bro. This shit was a letdown. Uh, it was a letdown. Yeah. You gave us the master, like the, the pinnacle of like awesomeness with that last one with Doctor Strange, right? You set the bar higher with the last two episodes. And it was at its highest with this that, that Doctor Strange and the plot, everything that we mentioned last week. And then you give us a zombie tale. Right. And not just a zombie tale, but a happy-go-lucky zombie tale like that. Right. Nobody it seemed was, like distraught that people were dying. That's the issue right there with this with this episode. It's Jeez. it was so happy-go-lucky. Yeah, I was, was like, so what is this lucky. nonsense? Here go the problem. It was so happy-go-lucky. They, I think, what if is like the downfall of what if series is connecting to trying to connect to these movies, mm. story-wise, like. You try to jump off the point from a movie to create a story. I think, right? They should start sooner or later. They should start like you know how that Doctor Strange one was called. Even though it jumped off from Doctor Strange one, it it mm. became a totally different movie. Well, not movie uh, episode, <laughs> right, episode right? Episode right. to the point to where it felt like a movie. Yeah, a new movie at that. This- so. This was straight nonsense. This one here was like, it was like, they were like, let's throw this together. <laughs> yeah, like, like this. <laughs> yeah. What if, what if the Avengers are zombies? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm like, how are they zombies and they still know how to use their powers? This right. is stupid. Yeah. I'm sorry. That pissed me off when I saw Iron Man blast. I was like, he's a zombie though. Zombies are brainless. How is he using his powers? In the comics, uh-huh. they keep their, you know, their, how should I put this, their personality in a way, even though they're zombies. Okay. They have the hunger. They look. They are zombies, but they still have their personality of, of how to do their stuff, how, how to use their powers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, once again, I didn't read the comics, so this came across as straight bullcrap to me. But still, it still, still, it still was whack because they. I mean, they explained it though with what Vision had some kind of part to play in it. Yeah. Right. But and it was, then it was more. It was a Vision. It was the it stone. Was, it was Pym. It right. Was, it was Hank trying to get his wife, and his wife was infected. Right, right. No, no. I, I know that, but with, oh, you talking about? The, I'm talking about the reason why they had all their. They could you still use their powers and stuff. It oh, was something oh. to do with the the mind uh, stone so, that was in his head, yeah. um, that was generating some kind of emitting some kind of signal to them or whatever. Yeah. But I was just like, man, this is there was no way people just died for no. I mean, Happy was in it, and then Happy dies, and it's just like, oh no, Happy, and yeah. then like. You know, the the girl dies, and they're like, oh, no, she dies. What happened? <laughs> Making a joke like two minutes later. But the, the like, only thing I liked about this was the the, the the group. The different characters they used for that group. Yeah, the best part choice, was... But it was a good group. Yes, the best part, I, I would have piggyback on that. Seeing uh, <laughs> Ant-Man, I, everything about Ant-Man is hilarious. I love Ant-Man. Yeah. And, um, and seeing Chadwick Boseman again one more time. I was like, right. oh, man, yeah. soldier. You know, I'm just seeing, seeing a coy as like she was like basically yeah, yeah. the leader of the group, basically. Yeah. So that was that was that was a one bright side to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they really could have used this episode slot for something else. Like they should, Not, they, they, they could have some, still use else. it as zombies, but I didn't just didn't like the way the story was. Really, I I, I personally don't want the zombie route. I actually, you don't like zombies? I'm, I'm done with zombies, bro. Like, come on, dude. How <laughs> I many different zombie stories like you're gonna be talking about? Like. <laughs> It's all, it's all the same. Because, look, it still ended dismal, right? It still ended with them losing in the end. Because, spoiler alert, didn't Thanos was, was a zombie, right? right? I don't even know how Thanos became a zombie, but whatever. Right. And he's going to take... You could you could put it together. He's going to take the stone, and that's it. Because yeah. the, the Watcher said, even if, they, you know, they'll all do their choices, if even if the choice seems right, but even if the choice leads to imminent death. But then again, you know, every 
every what if story starts ends like this, basically. Except for freaking the Doctor Strange episode. Well, you know, well, Leave there's that no one. reality. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he destroyed that. But, you, you have but, to right there. but still, you know what I mean? But even still in the zombie realm, it yeah. still ends pretty dismal. Like, what, what are you really going go you gotta, to go back It's going to end regardless. You only got three. What you got? Uh, Spider Man, a head, uh, uh, only uh, talking head Ant Man, and, and one leg, and a one leg child. panther. Yeah. That ain't a panther. That's a cougar. <laughs> I don't even know if that's the same thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> the black cougar? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. The black, the black lynx? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever other cat. That ain't a panther. <laughs> that ain't no black panther. <laughs> the black lynx in the wheelchair. Oh gosh. Oh my god. But yeah, man, it was it was it was lazy. This episode was lazy to me. I didn't like it at all. Yeah. I didn't like it. It was like yeah. it was too campy. It was too it was too light with the tone. Too it's, campy. Way too campy. Yeah. I was like, they could have done something else. And with such a limited amount of episode slots that they have lined up, like th- mm-hmm. this one needed to hit harder. I, I, I this understand. Was, this is more like a filler. Like we gave we gave it, you yeah. <laughs> Doctor Strange. We gave you. The it felt like space, a kid bro. filler. This felt like give it to the, give this one for the kids. The adults had the Doctor Strange last week. Give the kids this episode this week. I think it's going to go right, right, right back up in the next. It episode. better. It better because that was just what the hell. Yeah. It, that was what the hell. I'm sorry. If yeah. you guys feel different, everybody's entitled. Let us know what did you enjoy about this episode. Try to change right. our minds. Look, definitely right the now, lowest. The lowest point. Of this. Definitely this, lowest. This, one. this season right here. That's the lowest. Definitely one. lowest one. I yeah. mean, I, I and then my thing was why Spider Man? Why does he not have his mask on? What the hell is up with that? I don't know. I didn't get that. Why did he? Every character was just showing their face. I'm I guess like, it don't matter anymore. <laughs> I'm like, Everybody you don't get paid happy. for for you know. I could understand if it was live. You know, live action. They have to at least get paid for showing their face on the movie. Um, that's why they don't have their mask on all the time. But this is a cartoon. Like you could have your mask on, bro. Bullshit. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> that's, that's it for, it for that. That's it for that. Let's move on. Let's oh, move man. on, sir. Let's slow it down, here, Yeah, yeah, we gotta slow it down. Can, can we do that? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can slow it down. It's time. time. Positive. Chicka Sony on the way. <laughs> yeah. Sony on my way. Positive. Oh, yeah. And I got the rings for this episode. And here we go. Happiness often seeks in through a door you didn't know you left open. I'll say that one again. Happiness often sneaks in through a door you didn't know. You can open. You left open. Well, left the door open and happiness snuck in. Right. I like that. Stuck right in. Did you all right? You fell? Oh. <laughs> Did you fall? <laughs> I dropped the bottle. Oh. Happiness done tripped your ass. I tripped and fell. I tripped and fell in there. <laughs> <laughs> you tripped. You boy tripped over happiness. <laughs> Hey, I didn't know happiness was that bad. God dang, happiness can trip you. You better close the door. You close the door. I didn't want to get tripped by happiness. Happiness sneaks. Sneaky boy. Sneaky as fuck. I mean, yeah. got that boot. That happiness, happiness Tim's trip your ass. Was that the speed Anyway, boat? No, that's happiness. Happiness tripped you. You can yeah. trip out of happiness. That's a good message, though. Oh, leave yeah. the door open for the happiness, folks. Yeah. Just leave it open. Leave it just a slightly bit open. Even if it's this podcast that brings you happiness, leave that air hole slightly open for us. Slightly, all right? slightly. We'll open. put a smile on your face one way or another. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll put a smile on your face right here. <laughs> in that's your not even a song. <laughs> Song is dope as five. No more of that. <laughs> All right, so we got some yellows before we hit it. Yes, yes. And yes. Um, I'll take away my first head. Uh, head out. My first <laughs> yell out for the, today is uh, the Houston Museum of Natural Science. Um, definitely had a great time going there today, and did not know that they had a fourth floor with full of awesomeness as well. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, it was super fun time. My son is a thorough museum enthusiast he loves every part of the museum this is our fourth time going but that was our first time going to the fourth floor and it had some really interactive things for us to do right uh not only for the kids but for the adults and that was awesome we, we felt like kids in the moment mm. so uh yell out to them for that and uh yell out to the nfl fans out there everyone i got one across from me right now Listen, folks, enjoy this season. The crowds are back. The noise level is where it should be. Don't mind the COVID spreading. Wait a minute. Hold up. Touchdown. That's what matters. Listen in. Enjoy yourselves this first Sunday of the football season. Yes. Sweet. Mm-hmm. 
Take it away, G. All right. Um, I got some two. I got happy birthdays. Uh, happy birthday to my niece, Cynthia. Ooh, 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 I mean, ooh, not niece. Ooh, I'm sorry. Ooh. Auntie. Oh, shit. Auntie. My auntie, Cynthia. <laughs> happy <Lord>. birthday. <laughs> It's a big difference between niece and auntie. I know, right? <laughs> Happy birthday, hey, auntie. Happy <laughs> birthday, not niece. Um, uh, happy birthday to my nephew, Cade. Hey, Cade, what up, dude? What's up? What's up? I saw that on somebody's story. Yeah. yeah. Happy birthday to you, bro. Yeah, How old yeah. is he now? Cade is six. I let you know right now. I thoroughly keep up with all the birthday stuff that you be posting, bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, damn, another one, another new, yeah. another you got to hold. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. You could, your Christmas list will be super jam packed, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? How you keep up? I don't know, Santa. Santa G. <laughs> hey, say Santa that. G. That's what we gonna do. Yeah. Hey, so we got a new Santa Claus for this uh, for this holiday episode. It's coming up, folks. Santa G. Write it down, Jennifer. Thank you. <laughs> and also, we got some uh, people that we have lost. Um, Michael mm. K. Williams. Mm. Great actor, you know him from Boardwalk Empire, Lovecraft, The Wire. The Wire. Man, rest in peace, homie. Yeah. And, uh, um, and also, I have a, a co worker that I lost, name Mike Moore. Down to earth, funny guy that, uh, yeah, we are lost. So, uh, condolences to his family and his friends and. Michael K. Williams family and friends and to all the people we lost in uh, 9-11 we still in rem- remembrance and um, still thinking about you so yes. let's keep it a moment in silence for all of those souls we lost certainly all right Thank you guys for joining in on that. Yes, yes. And uh, that was our show. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe you should do a different send off. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Call it. <laughs> That's it. No, no, no. Here you go. Um, bop, chubi, da, bop, boo, boo. Call it. How are you going to bop, bop, she, boop, boop, and you come at me because I said boo, 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 boo. <laughs> Boop, 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 what the hell? <laughs> you gonna bop, bop, shaboop me and throw up my boop, boop, boops. I think we, you? Let's just end it the way we know it. <laughs> All right, fine. Well, that was that guy. That was that guy known as GP. <laughs> that was that guy right there known as AD. And listen, folks, 55 episodes in, we're pretty silly here because that's, uh, that's just what we do. And after the 55 silliest episodes, it's time for us to pay some dues. And so we will uh, catch you guys on the flippy flop. Peace and love, folks. Be happy. So Adios. Tell somebody you love them. Adios. Tell somebody you love. Got somebody you love. So anyway. So anyway. So anyway. We can end over that one, though. So yeah. I would love to reach yeah. up my mind. Yeah. Little Sony. So Little Sony. <laughs> Have a good one, folks. Later. Peace. Deuces.